This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. For the life of me, I can't figure out why any reporter who sits down with Anthony Joshua for an interview, one of the questions will be, do you have any concerns about Tyson Fury being on performance enhancements ahead of your fight? What they're getting at here is Tyson Fury has a two-year backdated ban that for a test that happened in 2015. Now, we'll talk about that um, in a little bit more detail as this video goes along. Anyway, I hope everybody is well. Please click that subscribe button. Now, Anthony Joshua, he responds to the question, but to be honest with you, he should never have been asked a question in the first place for a couple of reasons, okay? Number one, these guys have been tested multiple times by UCAD and VADA, both of these guys have. So as much as um, there might be some people out there who just want to accuse Tyson Fury of taking performance enhancements, and many people out there accuse Anthony Joshua of it as well, where's your proof? Because they've been passing tests. And when these guys step foot in the ring, they're going to be tested right the way up through camp and immediately after the fight as well. So Joshua has no reason to be concerned about Tyson Fury on PEDs. Okay, so again, it's a redundant question. But anyway, Anthony and Josh did answer it, and this is what he had to say. With the UCAS situation, every win Tyson Fury's had has had drama around it. Whether it was to do with Klitschko, Wilder, there always seems to be some kind of drama. But I'm a straight-up warrior. I also want to fight him. I don't care about anything in his body. He knows about my uppercut. He knew about it from when I was 20 years old. Trust me, he knows what's coming. I'm very serious about the fight, so when I announce it, you'll know it's real. Anthony Joshua's statement. So there's quite a few things in his statement. Yes, Tyson Fury does know about his uppercut. He felt it firsthand when Anthony Joshua was 20 years old. Anthony Joshua had been boxing for two years. Of course, he was an amateur um, at the time as well. And of course, before the Olympics, he sparred Tyson Fury for three rounds. In the first round, Anthony Joshua came out and just put it on him. Had him wobbling, had him had Tyson Fury in all kinds of problems. Tyson Fury admits all this as well in the first round. In the second round, Tyson Fury was getting on top of Joshua. In round number three, these guys just went at it and it was pretty much like an uneven um, round. So three rounds and the fight pretty much finished uh, as a draw if we were to score it. And this is coming from both camps. Okay, So yes, Tyson Fury has felt his uppercut because that's the one that got um, Fury on Bambi legs. For a little while or at least in trouble so yeah he certainly knows and of course joshua he does throw it as a pro he threw it through devastatingly against vladimir klitschko and a couple of opponents and in his last fight with kubrat pulev as much as people want to say i joshua he was running acting all scared well he did engage he did get close because you had to get close to throw the amount of uppercuts that he landed on kubrat pulev okay so yes he does throw um, a lot of uppercuts um now, going back on to the UCAD situation, briefly, um, what Anthony Joshua was getting at here is, you see, he pulled out the name Vladimir Klitschko and then Deontay Wilder. Well, anybody who knows anything about this entire case with Tyson Fury, first and foremost, it was back in 2015, he had an abnormal finding in his A sample, and it was out of competition. It was between the Derek Chisora rematch and Christian Hammer. Vladimir Klitschko was several months later. So Klitschko had nothing to do whatsoever with Tyson Fury and this alleged PED sample. Nothing to do with it whatsoever. And if it was in competition, then it would have been either Derek Chisora or Christian Hammer. The records show he's got a win over both. There is no contest. If there was an abnormal finding, he would have been disqualified and had that result overturned. So again, it was out of competition. So Klitschko, absolutely nothing to do with Tyson Fury on PEDs. When it comes to Deontay Wilder and the um, drama, should we call it? That's drama that Wilder created stemming from his fan base where they're reaching into their big bucket full of excuses and pulling out some of the most ridiculous ones we've ever heard in our lives. Not just one or two of them, but several. Wilder fans, extreme Wilder fans, ask yourself this question. How can all of them be correct? It can't be, right? It's unlikely that even one of them, never mind several, okay? So again, the drama is just camp drama. It's not real drama, it's fake drama. It's people on damage control reaching for excuses as to why their guy Wilder got absolutely battered from pillar to post, okay? Now, when it comes to Fury and Joshua, as I've said before many, many times, I have no horse in the race when it comes to these guys. 
I love both of these guys. I always want to see them do well. I get very nervous each and every time that, that these guys fight. So when they do fight, ecstatic for the winner and devastated for the loser. That's how it's going to be for me, okay? People will take sides. Now, when it comes to UCAD, as I said before, Joshua has nothing to worry about whatsoever when it comes to Tarson Fury and PEDs because Fury is going to be tested. Vice versa, Anthony Joshua will also be tested too. So, because there is a lot of people who run around accusing both of these guys of taking performance enhancements, but they're tested regularly. So there's going to be no problems whatsoever, which is why, why I went back to the point of it's a redundant question. I really don't understand why they want to do that. Maybe for headlines, hey, don't get me wrong, it, it gives me some kind of content, right? But it's ridiculous. Now, Anthony Joshua, yes, he is a warrior and he will fight anybody and... Him saying he doesn't care what's in Tyson Fury's body, as I said before, he doesn't have to worry about it. But even if Tyson Fury did, Joshua will fight him anyway. Even when Miller, when he popped, was it that Joshua said, "So right, I'll still fight him. Again, some Anthony Joshua haters out there will probably go, well, yeah, it's probably because he's on him. What about his therapeutic use exemptions, all that kind of stuff, okay? Hey, <laughs> with some people, you just can't win. But yes, Joshua is a warrior. Look at his resume. It's an outstanding resume. Outstanding. 25 fights in. Outstanding. Much like Tyson Fury's resume is outstanding. Dillian White's resume is also outstanding. So for me, when it comes to these two, they haven't got to worry about anything to do with UCAD. Um, I mean, this article is insinuating that UCAD are still doing some investigatory work with regards to Tyson Fury even now because of the whole farmer situation. But even the farmer, first and foremost, doesn't matter which side of the fence you sit on, you have to say the farmer was a liar. Because he's either willing to lie to say that he supplied the wild boar meat. That's a Tyson Fury alleged that had uh, some uh, nandrolone in it. So, he's, so he was willing to lie then for money. And he's also willing to lie by saying, actually, I'm withdrawing everything. Because he, now he's admitting, yes, I was willing to lie. So he's a liar. It doesn't matter how it is that you look at it. So is UCAS still under investigation with Tyson Fury? No, probably not. People will draw things out of the air and say, well, Tyson Fury, he let go of his British Box Border, border Control license because he's afraid of being investigated. They can investigate all they like. Makes no difference. Fury does not need a British Box Border Control license. No boxer does. Again, that seems to be um, a bit of a myth. You don't need one. Look at David Hay, David Chisora. They never had one when they fought each other. And quite a few fighters don't either. It's just more acceptable to have a British Box Border Control license. But are they going to investigate it? Of course not. Do the British Box Border Control want some kind of commission from Fury and Joshua fighting? Of course they do. Can UCAD do anything about it? Absolutely not. All they've got is a word of a liar in the farmer. Tyson Fury giving up his British Box Border Control license. Those of you who know, you have to pay for your British Box Border Control license. For him, for the foreseeable future, he's planning on fighting outside of the UK. He said that he doesn't want to fight in the UK. He feels underappreciated by people here in the UK. He'd rather fight in America where he's appreciated. British Box Border Control license, I don't need you. So why pay for something that you're not going to use, isn't it? It's like paying for car insurance when, when you haven't got a car, isn't it? But anyway, it is what it is. For me, both of these guys are warriors. Neither of these guys have to worry about the other one being on PEDs. If any of them did go on PEDs, guess what? It's going to be flagged. Simple as that. And whoever asked Anthony Joshua that question, have a word for yourself. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you on the next video.